Namaste. Welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Today we're going to watch um, some news where Prime Minister Modi chokes up while paying tribute and talking about all the many people lost because of COVID. Um, we know the numbers got extremely high and, and they're starting. We see the wave is starting to slowly come down, which is good. It's still spiked. It's still like 250,000 people a day that they're getting on average like that have it and yeah. over 4,000 people dying every day. I I can't imagine what Prime Minister Modi is going through right now being the pr Prime Minister, being yeah. the person that everybody's looking up to and probably you know, the person that everybody's blaming instead exactly. of themselves. Right. And he can only do so much, you know. We we feel so strongly we support Modi very much and he has done so many great things but the one thing we do think that kind of didn't help in this second wave was letting the elections go on letting people do the yeah. rallies and actually coming out to vote that I kind of think was not his okay. best that wasn't good I don't think he thought before doing it yeah and so I know there's a lot of people that are pointing their fingers at Modi and saying it's his fault. But honestly, when you point one finger at him, if four fingers are pointing at you, he can't yeah. come to your house and go, like, where's your freaking mask? Yeah. Like, why are you going to the rallies? Why are you going to the farmer's protest? You know, why are you going outside if you don't have to? Um, you know, he can't do this alone. And I'm sure right now his heart aches our heart aches just watching the news and seeing yeah. the numbers and knowing that, you know, as much as different countries are sending stuff to India, you guys also have to do your part. Like everybody can send you enough medical supplies and vaccines, but if you're not getting vaccinated, if you're not wearing your mask properly, if you're not social distancing, who can save you? Bhagwan Ram can't come down and save you if you're not doing things properly. You know, we watch the news and we see people, they're not wearing their mask right. No, and talking about not wearing your mask right, I've seen people at school who wear their mask below their nose, in, even in news videos, and you have a mask right here. Mm -hmm. Over your nose, on your mouth, yeah. over your ears. And especially this one because it has a wire, so it goes on your nose and you can fit it perfectly you to your nose mm -hmm. so that when it's down below it's because you pulled it not because it slipped right yeah i just i'm glad i'm not at school because there are so many people that either their mask is below or below their nose or below mm -hmm. their mouth and i'm like why right. one for your safety two for others and teachers they're not saying anything and i'm just i'm glad i'm at home yeah. Because I'm definitely doing a lot better and not getting sick. And I think that's better than going to school and risking it. Yeah, you've definitely not been sick. All virtual has been wonderful for our family right now. Yeah. But yeah, like your mask below your nose. Or we've seen some news conferences where half the people don't even have a mask on. Like you shouldn't be in any kind of gathering without a mask on. No. These are like the few essential things. You have to, have to social distance go out only for essentials this is the one thing i wish prime minister i don't necessarily want him to complete shut down like last time but it should be like essential workers only if you're not an essential worker stay home wear a mask if you have to go get food don't go outside please don't go somebody dies from covid i know the emotional part of it you have to not gather in thousands to say your goodbyes because half of you are going to end up with it. And it's not just about you. It's yeah. about every other person in India and everyone you have interacted, interacted with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not just about you. But everybody has to come together. Help not only yourself, help India. And, and pointing fingers at Modi is not making COVID go away. It's not helping either. He's not the one that started it, and he's not the one who is not keeping their mask on and not social distancing. Right. You have to blame yourself. Yeah. A huge part of it, you have to work together, you know. You have to think of, you know, the country, like with India, it looks like a person. They've always said that, like mm -hmm. the head and the arms and the feet. Like, 
if part of the country decides they're not going to wear a mask and they don't give a crap about what Modi says, you are not working as a whole. And blaming Modi then makes you Indian as an Indian look bad too. Like then you have to, this is the time people need to come together, not only help support each other where you can, but work together as a whole, because if part of the body doesn't work, your whole body can't function properly. And we don't want people to say like, Oh, this Indian, it didn't work out in India. Like ugh, so many people have lost their lives. We want this curve to continue to, to come down, but he needs your help. You need to help yourself and, and yell at people that, I mean, I'd like to come around with a stick and smack people when they come out of their house. I mean, like the police used to be outside, but now, but then they were blaming the police in the medical field and that got way out of hand. So, Yeah. yeah, I think at the beginning, the big shutdown worked well. And then now, I don't know. I think, they didn't think it was going to be that bad again, and it just got out of spun out of control. So yeah. um, we're going to watch um, Modi's speech, um, his tribute. Um, so let's start it up. That's what I need to do. Yeah. This virus ne, hamare kai apno ko. You can see like his lip quivering. I can't imagine. Oh my God. I mean, it's, yeah, it's like, yeah. And it's not all his fault. It's like it started in China. Right. Obviously. And the second wave just hit the bar. Our doctors, yeah. ne, nurses, ne, technicians, ward boys, ambulance divers, so ne, jo kaam um, kiya hai, they need big things for being out there during this time. Halaki ye mahamari itni badi hai ki aap sabke is kathin parishram. और असीम प्रयासों के बावजूद भी हम अपने परिवार के कई सदस्यों को नहीं बचाए इस वायरस ने हमारे कई अपनों को हमसे छीना है यू कैन सी लाइक हिज लिप क्वरिंग मैं उन सभी लोगों को आई कैन इमेजिन अपनी विनम्र श्रद्धांजलि देता हूं और उनके परिजनों के प्रति सांत्वना व्यक्त करता साथियों कोरोना की सेकंड वेव में हमें कई मोर्चों पर एक साथ लड़ना पड़ रहा है संक्रमण दर भी पहले से कई गुना ज्यादा है और मरीजों को ज्यादा दिनों तक हॉस्पिटलाइज भी रहना पड़ रहा है इन सबसे हमारे हेल्थ सिस्टम पर एक साथ बहुत बड़ा दबाव पैदा हो गया है बनारस को वैसे भी सिर्फ काशी के लिए नहीं पूरे पूर्वांचल की स्वास्थ्य सेवाओं का एक केंद्र है बिहार के भी कुछ हिस्से के लोग 
स्वाभाविक तौर पर यहाँ की स्वास्थ्य व्यवस्था पर इतना दबाव बहुत बड़ी चुनौती बनकर के आया This was really gut wrenching to watch. Like we know yeah. the numbers in India are so high, and so many thousands of people have lost their lives, not just in India but around the world. But I cannot. I, I just wouldn't want to be the person in power at the time. Like there's only so much you can do, and everybody points their finger at you. Points the finger at the highest person because they think they can do anything. So, yeah. And you know, it's nice that he's not just paying tribute to the doctors and all the healthcare workers because they really are putting themselves and their family on the line when they're doing this mm -hmm. um, for the country, for the people. Um, but he's, you know, paying homage to the people that have lost family members because, you know, as much as you can do, sometimes you can't always do enough. Right. And but it always comes back to what you can do, you mm -hmm. know, social distance, wear a mask, all those good like things. Like you said, you point one finger and four are pointing at you, like. Yeah, yeah. You have to take it upon yourself. Like, Modi can only, you know, get so much done and get so many tanks of oxygen and and you know help so many people but you still have to go by the three rules of staying safe having social distance and keeping your mask on correctly yeah if you don't then it's your fault you got covid it is not moldy's right yeah if you're going to rallies if you're going to we heard there was somebody that passed away um and there was like 50,000 people showed up at their funeral really This is not the time. Like, I know you want to say goodbye to people, but this is not the time to have social gatherings, to have weddings, to have festivals, to have rallies, to have protests. Like, this is the time to stay in your home unless you have to go out and get food. Work online if you can and keep your distance from other people and basically assume, like, everybody around you has it. And if you get it, you and everybody else that you came in contact with needs to quarantine themselves from everybody. Like, yeah. this is just, like, gone beyond. And it breaks our heart to see the numbers go. I mean, thank God they're starting to come down a little bit. But you really have to help yourself and work together as a country and not fight with one another. Like, when it's election time, you fight tooth and nail and if you don't like Modi then great go to whoever you like and fight for them to be elected but right now Modi needs your support and you guys need to work together and you need, so there's unity you know yeah right now like talking about basically like the country is a body Modi right now is your heart you stop that you stop everything it shuts yeah. down it's not going to get any better yeah you really need to to work with him Well, he's the prime minister now, and and like we said, when elections come, you just fight for who you think would do a better job. Yeah. But I would not want to be in his shoes. I'm sure it breaks his heart every day to see numbers. You know, he has given up so much, and India is his life to work for the country that I cannot imagine what is going through his head right now and his heart. No, and we were looking at the comments, and the comments don't make mm. it any better because we thought they would be celebrating, we thought they would be nicer, but all they're saying is he's such a great actor, and it must break, breaks our heart and it breaks probably his heart because he has the burden of the country upon him, and then people just putting him down doesn't make it any better. No. Because he is trying, but like I said, you don't stay safe, social distance, or wear a mask. He can't do anything. He can't provide everything for you at all times because he's not a god. He can't do that kind of stuff. And he is a person. Yeah. He's, he's still human at the end of the day. He still has emotions. 
he has a high power, but does he really have that much power? Right. I mean, he needs to go through a lot of stuff. And there's only so many hospitals. There's only so many facilities. You know, they open up extra stuff to kind of provide for people. But there's there's only so much he can do. And if you're going out partying, he cannot help you. And that's not, you know, like we said, we went through the comments and there literally is like, I don't know, the first couple pages is like um, how he's such a great actor and, you know, really it's just sad because these are the people that are probably going around without their masks on probably going to some of these things that we've been talking about and and i guarantee you they're the ones that are like this we can protect your chin yeah from covid mm -hmm. yeah or this this is the other one i love really you know if you're not i can't this is like a kid's mask and then some glasses, like protect yourself. And it's not just about you. It's you and everybody else in India. You have to help each other out and do the things that you need to do. So hopefully, hopefully in India gets through this. Hopefully the spike continues to come down and, and hopefully, um, Everything gets better. Yeah. You know, we we sent our YouTube money, and um, if anyone's able to, we set up the uh, fund as well, and um, we're going to send more. So, um, but you know, all the money in the world, all the supplies in the world, is not going to help if you don't do what you're supposed to do first. Yep. So, stay safe, and hopefully, we'll see you again soon. Bye.